force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He lands flush with that right hand. Overhand right, swing the miss. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And they are exchanging leather early. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that into the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, last the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Right hand on point. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Another straight left. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Go! Just out of range with that strike. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Nice leg kick. That's a good strike right there. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize and hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Huge block there. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Right hand landing. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. 30 seconds to go here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a huge block there. 15 seconds to go. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Splits the guard lane to the right hand. Round two next.
All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Lee's shot is blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Hook come and it's blocked. Nice punch lands. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, head kick lands. Perfect. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big kick land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Put him up. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Flush right hand is true. He's able to slip the left. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of him. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it. So dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch land over the top. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to home right now and fired up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Back and forth we go! Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. Let's stop. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. What a tricky head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, 
Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. combination of strikes there by Lee. Round three next. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big head kick lands. He's able to slip the left there. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice right hand. Big head kick land. Big leg kick land. Big body kick land. Just missing on the high kick there. Slips to avoid the right. Head kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Good stick. Ooh. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice right hand, John. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. Let's get coming. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice counter left hook. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just misses with the right. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Missed with that attempt. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big head kick lands. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, 
this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Strong defense there to block the shot. Just misses with the straight right. Head kick lands. There with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting tonight. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Still nice body kick land. Big kick lands. Oh, and again he lands a kick to the body. Leg kick. Oh! Some real power shots here. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. His shot's nice in here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice loop of punch. Blocks the shot. Nice right hand. Lunges forward with a left air. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Right hand, then a left. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big kick land. Under two minutes to go. Lands the right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. 
blocks the strike. Lamps with a right hand. Oh, nice. Right punches there. You got the turtle in that kick. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Straight punch land. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a right hand by this young man. Shot to the body here, blocked by Lee. Beautiful body. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Seconds remaining here in round four. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Connects with a right. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there. But I guess that's why it's a video. I'd probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> Liver kick. in the night. Oh, he got a real good two. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. A good right hand right and there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display? Huge elbow there. Huge hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Forward, forward, forward. Punch over the top. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Big leg kick land. Well placed with the kick. Nice head kick. Just missed with the left there. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get... Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Just misses with a left hook there. Pretty good right hand. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, he continues to... His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. Oh, so bad. Ooh, what a head kick. Just missed with that right hand. One minute to go in the fight. Just out of range with that left hook. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. How good is his right hook count? Lee's shot there is blocked. Oh, big right hand, yes. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee!